Broadway in Indianapolis is back. The season opener is playing right now. It's playing through this Sunday. And it's a story that you're probably familiar with. And it's another one of the musicals based on a hit animated film, Anastasia. This was the 1997 Seven. version of the movie. Yes, yes that, I, I guessed right. Uh, that was, that was, uh, not that, it was not that long ago. Uh, but it was on Broadway and now it's touring. And a cast member is uh, with us. It is Jerry Wiegraf, who is with the National Touring Cast. Good to see you, first of all. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming over. Uh, first, uh, Jerry plays the Dowager Empress. Now, Dowager is one of those old words that uh, <laughs> our assistant director, Joey, here doesn't know because he's so young. You, you, <laughs> it's just one of those words you don't hear anymore. Yeah. So what, what, what exactly widow. is that? Widow. Yeah. Widow. That's what it means. Yes. Okay. And of course, Empress, we know what that means. Empress, yes. <laughs> so if you, if you don't know the story of Anastasia, the story is of a, a young girl who has lost her memory. Yes. She and, doesn't know who she is. Yes. And, but she has uh, these fleeting, haunting memories of a past mm -hmm. and a feeling that someone who loves her very much is waiting for her in Paris. So she sets out on a journey to find home, love, family, where she came from, who she is, and what she's intended to be. Mm -hmm. And so, and so there you go. There's your teaser. That's why you go see the show and you get to see whether or not those memories are true or right. if it's just figments of her imagination being propelled mm -hmm. by a couple of uh, bad guys. Really. Right. Yeah. And his, his, the historical backdrop is yeah. that uh, 10 years before most of this action occurs, mm -hmm. the last uh, royal family to rule Russia, yes. uh, the Romanovs were executed. But there were rumors that persisted that the youngest daughter, Anastasia, Grand Duchess Anastasia, survived. Now, and this is based on true story. It well, is. It, it's based on a possible true story. <laughs> now, being a factual creature, being in news, I'm, <laughs> I, there's DNA evidence that says that the, the real story is not true, but we're, <laughs> we're, we're setting that aside. This is the yes. magical world of the stage exactly. where, where, where dreams can come true. And, yes. uh, and, and so that's, <laughs> that's the essence of, of this story. Yeah. Uh, this is, it's a very, uh, cool cast. It's a, I assume it's a cool cast. It looks like a cool cast. Oh, we have. love each other. Yeah, yeah, we're one big family mm -hmm. for sure. Um, yeah, and it's uh, the, the show itself has everything. It has mystery, adventure, romance, comedy. Certainly something for everybody of all ages. And it's visually stunning too. That's another um, feature of it that uh, people are just you know, wowed by. Uh, we use digital projections that make it feel like uh, the audience is uh, one minute um, on a train speeding towards Paris, mm -hmm. uh, zooming up an elevator uh, in the Eiffel Tower or in a ballroom with ghostly figures floating above them. So this is a big production you'll see. This is not just something that you'll see on stage. You've got a lot of elements it almost feels like a movie yeah, yeah. it uh, one scene melts into the other it's just absolutely breathtaking including the costumes and the dancing and the music it all will totally you know transform people and uh, they will absolutely love it now Jerry Wiegraf uh, you've not always been in the theater you have not always been an actor you actually yes. got your start in a business <laughs> where I got my start <laughs> And that was radio news. Yes. Did that for I a was while. a radio newscaster for yes. almost nine years. And then I followed that Why up. Why would you ever leave that world? <laughs> I yeah. loved it. No, I really did no, love I, it. I did too. It's okay. It was actually hard, though, to do theater while doing radio. Oh, so you were trying to do both at the same I, time. Uh, you know, it, it, it kind of worked with a couple of the radio jobs, mm -hmm. but I had to sleep in shifts because I always ended up working the morning shift with <laughs> radio. So I would get like three hours of sleep here and three hours of sleep there. That the well, that's the life, regardless of what you're trying to do. Sometimes <laughs> that's the life of a, a news person is yeah. you, you sleep in shifts, right. especially if you work the uh, the morning shift. But then you, you gradually, you got into theater more and, and that just became yeah. your life. I actually continue doing theater as, you know, as a hobby. I guess you could call it. Um, met my husband doing theater, mm -hmm. watched my parents growing up doing community theater. We got our kids involved uh, in theater. Uh, it was a family passion for my husband and me and our two children uh, all the time. Uh, the kids were growing up until they went off to college. Uh, and then it really wasn't until about 10 years ago that I just on a whim auditioned for the National Tour of Fiddler on the Roof, uh, right as our youngest was starting college and mm -hmm. we were supposed to start an empty nester life. Yep. Uh, and I got cast. So and much for that empty nester yeah. life. <laughs> yep. 
So um, yeah, so I've been doing this full time. You know, it's my primary career for about 12 years now. What, what, what do you think is, if, if there's a difference, what difference would there be in starting that career, that type of career later in life, as opposed to when most people try to start it when they're 18, 20, 22, something like that? Yeah, well, um, I was able to raise a family. Not that you know people can't do that mm -hmm. while they're continuing to do theater, you know, through the course of their life. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just it never occurred to me to try to do this in my twenties, and I, I, I majored in something different. I majored in Spanish, um, and I just always in my mind thought, you know, I would have some other non-theater job and do theater in the evening and on weekends. And for for many many years, that's what my life was and it was great. I loved it and I thought I was going to continue doing that until I got cast in that Fiddler tour, <laughs> which by the way came through the Murat Theater. Yeah, it did. Um, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's everyone's decision and it, you know, at, at any age people can make it work. And uh, very quickly before we run out of time here, I did want to mention if you go to Jerry Wegraff's website, you find out, and this is kind of timely, and not to be melancholy here, but you have now been associated with a couple of roles tied to Angela Lansbury, because I saw that you yes, played Mrs. Potts in a production of uh, Beauty and the Beast. I and did. now you're playing Dowager Empress, which she voiced yes. in the animated film. Yeah, yeah, and um, she was, she's been an idol to me. Uh, I hope that I can continue working in this field as long as she did. Um, but yeah, it was, it was sad to, to see her, her pass, but um, yes, honor to, to play a couple of roles that she has played. So if you've seen the animated film, you'll recognize some of the music, but there's a lot of new music in this production too. Yes, too. yes, there are five, I believe, from the, the 1997 movie, uh, and Aaron's and Flaherty, the, the wonderful um, duo who, who wrote those songs, also wrote some 15 additional songs for our show. Um, and yeah, the, the, the lyrics and the music are just absolutely beautiful. The motifs that, that weave throughout the show that evoke emotions in people, it's just, uh, it's just spectacular. All right, so get tickets. If you can, they're going quickly, I'm told. Anastasia playing for the rest of this week through Sunday at the Murat at Old National Center. We'll have the info at WRTV.com. And it's the season opener for Broadway in Indianapolis, what's going to be a huge Broadway and Indianapolis season. Jerry Wegraff, the Dowager Empress in Anastasia. It's good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you so much.